Welcome, welcome Saturday night. This is Tim Walker, the Entrepreneur's Pastor, coming to you live. Just felt like getting on here for a minute. If you could, as you get on, if, if you could, if you want to, share where you're watching from. But uh, I'm Timothy James Walker. I've embraced my calling and my assignment to help people transform their businesses, transform their careers, their lives, many different ministries and churches and so forth. But again, what an opportunity to be here with you tonight on this Saturday night. But uh, I'm not going to be long. We're going to be strong. I want to declare the word of the Lord over your life. The Lord's been speaking something to me about God is going to hinder your hindrances, the things that are hindering, the things that are blocking. You're moving through it. You're moving through it in a new, with a new anointing, a new force, a new beginning, a new energy, a new synergy. Just, I feel that real, real strong today. The Lord spoke that to me in my life and told me to share it with you tonight. But I want to declare 1 Peter 4, 11, If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion, forever and ever amen 1 peter 4 11 and that is our confession of faith we believe that the the lord just spoke this to me and dropped it in my spirit and i just i feel it was it was such an encouragement to myself and sometimes we have to learn to encourage ourselves in the lord i uh i just felt something in my spirit Get on live right now and speak this word into somebody's life and help them. Hello, Barbara. Glad you're here. Amen. Welcome. People don't, you don't have to, you don't have to say it, but if you want to share where you're watching from as people get on it, it's, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to give you a shout out. So listen, watch this. I feel this, a, a, an anointing to decree and declare that the Lord just hindered your hindrance. The Lord just blocked your blocker. I, oh, I, I hope you get that in your spirit. I feel it, man. I mean, it, it makes me just want to jump off the cliff whether I have a uh, parachute or not. I tell you, I just feel so secure in my faith and I pray this anointing on you that you'll move into a new security in your faith in your belief what you believe I believe God wants you to be something do something and have something all to the glory of God and and watch this decree and declare the Lord just hindered my hindrance and I wrote this down and I tell you it's oof. I'm trying to break myself of saying, and I tell you, and I tell you, the enemy can no longer threaten my future, your future, without a divine consequence. Did you know the harvest for your life, it really is real. The problem is some of us we're living in a season or seasons of hijacked harvest. They've been hijacked. I've shared with you before. I remember I had a, uh, a business partner that was supposed to be a Christian. And knowing what I know now, I would rather be in business with a sinner. I'd rather be in business with someone that's not a Christian than Christians. Christians have been the worst experience. Uh, I hate to say it. But for me, I've had some really bad experiences, but I won't get all into that. But the Lord just hindered your hindrance. The Lord just hindered my hindrance. And I feel the Lord speaking that tonight. The enemy can no longer threaten you. The enemy can no longer threaten your future without consequence. Hello, Sister Carolyn. So glad to see you. Good evening. Amen. As you come on, first name, where you're watching from, would love to give you a shout out. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I know there's some, they just want to be spectators, not participators. That's all right. But the Lord is saying, I'm with you. I'm walking with you. I'm going before you. I'm making the crooked places straight. 
the Lord, just, just speak that for a moment. Say, the Lord just hindered my hindrance. Say this, the enemy, the enemy, come on, say it. The enemy can no longer threaten my future without a divine consequence. Hello, Brother Martin. Praise God from London. I can't wait to come to London. I'm going to let you know when we come. We're planning a European trip in 2022. 2022, I'm declaring by faith. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm declaring a world tour, and I'm going to take my book, The Champion Seed, 10 Things That God Says You Can Do. Dr. Mike Murdoch did the forward on the book, and I want to release this book in 2022 all around the world, and I want to personally bring it, give you a copy of it, sign it, pray with you, teach, and have a wonderful time together in a school of success. You know, success is not just about money. Success is not just about having the dream car. Success is not just about having your dream home. Success is a feeling. Success is thoughts. Success is having peace. Success means many different things to people. But sometimes I've learned there's certain miracles or certain things that I'm believing God for. They reside and they live in a thought. And if I could just have the right thought, I could birth the right action steps to birth what I'm believing God for. I love it, Brother uh, Martin said, Amen. Great news. Can't wait to come there, brother. So I'm declaring it. I'm declaring and decreeing. I'm commanding the day. The Holy Spirit spoke that to me today. Did you know you can command your day? Did you know you can command your day? Hello, how are you doing? Success is a feeling. That's right. It is a feeling. Martin says London for, is looking forward to seeing you in London. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. We're, we're, we're going to do it. TJ and I are planning to do it. Lord willing, my wife too. We're going to come and we're going to do a world tour in 2022 i'm declaring it. it dropped in my spirit today it was just like world book tour and i'm like what and god wants you to know that you have a champion inside you you have a entrepreneur inside you have you have so much inside you that needs to come out declare this say the lord just hindered my hindrance Say this, say, the enemy can no longer threaten my future without a divine consequence. You say, well, what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say, it's time to take back legally what's yours. Did you know some of us have just allowed people to take what was rightfully ours, rightfully yours? And today something rose in my spirit and, you know, the enemy will come in and will use people. The enemy will come in and, and use friends and family and in-laws and outlaws. Will use people almost like a hostile takeover of your environment, your life, and your domain, and your turf, and everything. And I just want to declare, some of us, we have allowed people to take over. But that dropped in my spirit today. Command your day. Declare and decree that I'm going to hinder your hindrance. Declare and decree that the enemy, the enemy, enemy, sometimes the enemy is enemy, it's into you. The enemy can no longer threaten my future without divine consequence. So we're going to legally take back what is ours. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you that we're covered. If you're not covered by the blood of Jesus, it's so simple. Jesus, come into my life. Save me. I repent of my sin. Fill me, Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit of God. Fill me with the power from on high. It's so simple. The church world's made it so difficult. I want to encourage you right now. Declare that one more time. Say, the Lord just hindered my hindrance. I feel the anointing on that right there. I feel glory on that. I feel something reversing as you say it and declare and decree it. The Lord just hindered my hindrance. The Lord just blocked and obliviated your, uh, 
I think that's the right word. Your blocker. The enemy can no longer threaten your future without a divine consequence. There's going to be some divine consequences. When you mess with the people of God, when you mess, I tell you, 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 you need to know your weight. You need to know your weight. People are saying, Amen, Shalom. Amen. So, so awesome to connect with people. If you could just share this broadcast for a moment. If you could share it with someone. And let's try to get some more people on here. People need to hear this. God is hindering your hindrance. Hallelujah. A transform. God is transforming your mind. As he hinders the hindrance, there's a transformation of the mind. The Bible says in Psalms 1-2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 1, verse 3, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Isn't that beautiful? God says you're going to prosper in this renewed mind. God says you're going to prosper as you do according to the word of God. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you shall ask what you will. We got a lot of people, a lot of prophets and a lot of people, and I'm not down in prophets. I believe them, but we have a lot of Facebook prophets. We have a lot of, uh, I, I, I'll just shut up there. We have a lot of people that are fake fivefold they're fake it's just a business it's just a business that's all it is it's just a business and i'm telling you right now god wants to move you into kingdom business a lot of people talking preaching about the hundredfold and and i believe in sowing seed i believe in in financial blessings but i tell you the the fastest way to to activate the hundredfold is to forsake family and friends and walk away I want to ask you, what homes have you walked away from? What cars have you walked away? What have you walked away from that's just stuff? What have you walked away from? And when you walk away from that, you walk towards the eternal. I'm not saying don't have all those things. I'm saying some of us make it. That's all what it's about. That's it. I, we better get good at living and get good ready to die. Uh, all of us are going to die at some point. I know, we, and we do get to live forever. Life just begins. When, when, we, when we leave, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That's a hope. I tell you, when you have this renewed mind, when you have this transformed mind, when you have a walk and talk with Jesus, you're not afraid of death. You're not afraid of evil. You're not afraid of the enemy. You're not afraid of the naysayers. You're not afraid of the Goliaths in life. But God says you're going to prosper in all areas of your life because of this renewed mind, because of this new realization, because of this new revelation that God is hindering my hindrance, that God is stopping the blockers, the barriers. I want to declare your marriage will prosper. Your finances will prosper. Your health will prosper. Your business will prosper. Your relationships will prosper. Your family life will prosper. No area of your life will be lacking. Why? Because now God, He's hindering your hindrance. He's stopping the blockers. He's shutting the mouth of the enemies in your life. There are people that are trying to, to block your assignment. There's people that are trying to block the blessings of the Lord. As I shared with you before, I had a Christian business partner that literally robbed me of almost a half a million dollars in revenue and commissions. And he had, and, and, and a Christian uh, TV editor connected them, did an infomercial and everything, things that I, that I put together, and then they messed me over too. 
And then I've got preacher friends that like to do business with some of these people, which it hurts my feelings, but you know, what are you going to do? You're going to prosper. God says he, every hindrance, he's going to hinder your hindrance. This is for somebody. I don't know who this is for. If this is for you, type amen. If this is for you, type amen. God's going to hinder your hindrance. He's going to block all your blockers, all your barriers. He's going to shut the mouth of the enemy. He's going to shut the mouth of the backbiters. He's going to shut the mouth of the jealousites and the backbites in your life. He's going to do it. The Bible says we'll prosper in whatever we do. Come on, th this, is a, this is a new mindset. This is a champion mindset. Oh, I've got one person with me. I know we've got many people watching. Amen. Carolyn said amen. Barbara Books. Amen and amen. Carolyn, amen. If you receive this word, type amen. Hallelujah. Martin from London said amen. If you receive this word, God's going to hinder my hindrance. He's going to block the blockers, the barriers. I want you to forget about all your past victories right now. I want you to forget about all your past experiences. God's doing something new. God's doing something no, so new and great, it's going to blow your mind that you're going to forget the past. You're going to forget the past glory days and the victory days. And did you know that's the problem? We have a lot of people, we live in the past. We live in the glory days. Oh, I remember when my business was flourishing in, in 96. Oh, I remember when our church and the revival was going and people were being saved and filled with the Holy Ghost back in 2005. I, I remember we saw 50,000 people come to the Lord. Let me tell you what, we need some new moves of God. We need a new revival. We need, I'm tired of people talking about what God did, what he used to do. God says he's doing something new. God said, I'm going to hinder your hindrance. God says, I'm going to block the barriers. How? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Whatever you think you are, whatever you think, it's your reality. I choose to think the thoughts of God. Matter of fact, God said, my ways are not like your ways. My thoughts are not like your thoughts. But I tell you this, some miracles, some things you're believing God for, they reside, they live in the zip code of a thought. And if you could just access that thought, you'd know what to say. You'd know what to do. You'd know where to go. You'd know where, what to be. God's called you to be something, do something, have something. Be something, do something, have something. Forget about your past glories. Forget about your past experiences. Once your mind is transformed, you will walk in the high places of success. God says, I'm hindering your hindrance. What the devil meant for evil, God made good. I don't know who this is for, but I don't know if you know this. I, I was battling COVID just weeks ago uh, for almost a month. Literally thought I was going to die. Thought I was going to die. Even said, Lord, take me. But you know what? I'm here. I made it through it. I have friends. I have people that I've lost to the, this horrible virus that are dead. I, I've had clients of mine that literally have died from this virus. But you know what? God is speaking. I'm breathing new life. You're still here for a reason. You're still here for a purpose. You're still kicking because you got some kick left in you. You got something, you're going to do something. You're going to be something, do something, have something for the glory of God, for the kingdom of God. We're going to win souls. That's what it's about. We're going to win souls. We're going to make disciples. How many of you glad and thankful to, to win souls? I want to ask you, how many people have you won to the Lord the past 12 months? How many people have you won to the Lord? How many people are you discipling right now? God has called us to be disciple makers. God has called us to be proof producers. 
Forget about all your past. Forget about all the past business success. Forget about all your past ministry success. Forget about, oh, I used to be on TBN, or I used to do this, or I used to do that. Forget that. None of that matters anymore. It doesn't matter. Poof, it's gone. It doesn't matter. What today is the day of salvation. God's doing a new thing. His mercies are new every morning. God's doing a new work. But God says, as, you, as I transform your mind, you're going to walk in the high places of success in every area of your life. Emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, every way is going to happen. God says this right now, where others and in areas where you have failed, God says you shall succeed. You're moving into new success, new spiritual success, new relationship success. Not just money. I'd say, well, what's the purpose if we've got all these money blessings and nothing else is right? Did you know I know some miserable rich people? I know some people that, that, that have money and they're miserable. They're not happy. They can't sleep. They have no joy. What, what's, the, what's the purpose of having money and no joy and no peace? When you renew your mind according to the Word of God, you begin to activate and think superior supernatural thoughts that will change your life. Isaiah 55 verse 8, and, and I'm going to shut up in a minute here. For my thoughts are not like your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Isaiah 55 verse 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Let me tell you what's so powerful about supernatural superior thoughts. They confront and they solve every, prob every problem, every challenge. Let me tell you what's so powerful about renewed supernatural superior thoughts. It brings creative solutions to the atmosphere. It brings creative solutions to places of difficulty. Let me tell you what's so wonderful about renewed mind, supernatural, superior God thoughts. They don't bow to problems, but problems bow to them. God says problems are bowing at your feet today. Sickness is bowing at your feet this very moment. Financial lack is bowing at your feet. Let me tell you, I know the weight of my words right now. I know what I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. And some of you, you, you need to access this right now. You need to move into this faith anointing. You need to move into this glory. You need to move it. Just do it. Just move into it. Just accept it. Father, I accept this new anointing. I accept this new beginning. Father, I thank you that you're going to hinder my hindrances. I thank you that you're going before me. You're making the crooked places straight. Did you notice that it doesn't say in the Bible who make crooked people straight, just crooked places. Places matter, people matter, voices matter. I've learned that from my good friend and mentor, Dr. Mike Murdoch. And let me tell you, I love the Word. Don't you love the Word? The Word of God? A transformed mind, a renewed mind, gives you also not just superior supernatural thoughts, but also gives you superior supernatural attitudes and beliefs. Did you know your, your old beliefs or your current belief and your attitudes can only take you to a certain level in life? But God says, I'm moving you to a greater anointing. I'm moving you into a greater grace. I'm moving you into a greater level where your attitudes are becoming supernatural and superior. I'm moving you into a belief system, my Lord, that can deliver you. Thank you, Father. Thought, Father, we thank you for a new anointed attitude. We thank you for a new belief system, Father, that, that's connected to your word. We thank you for higher dimension. We thank you for new results. We thank you for addition. We thank you for anointed subtraction, things that need to be removed in our life. And we thank you we're moving into multiplication in every area. Wow. 
Let me tell you what's so powerful about supernatural superior thoughts and attitudes and beliefs. Suddenly, you begin to read things in the Bible. You begin to read things in the Word. And you know what happens? It becomes possible to you. That's what's so powerful about a renewed mind, a transformed mind. You begin to read the stories and you begin to see yourself in that story and you begin to tell yourself, I can do this. I can be this. I can have this. I can go here. I can go there. I can become it. I can do it. Mm, thank you, Father. Belief systems are changing. Attitudes are changing. We're walking into a new dimension, a higher dimension of results. A higher dimension of results because now we've moved into higher thoughts. We've moved into healthier attitudes. We've moved into a new belief system that is the foundation of the Word of God. I tell you, man will fail you. Jesus said this in Mark 9, 22. Mark 9, 23. He said this, Jesus said unto them, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. So the realities in the Word of God will become your realities too. Father, we thank you. Father, I thank you right now. You're hindering all of our hindrances right now, things that are hindering us. You're, you're going to block them. You're going to stop them. You're going to shut the mouth. You're going to shut the mouth. You're going to shut the mouth. Don't be surprised. Some people may die. God's going to shut their mouth. God's going to shut their mouth. God's about to shut some evil mouths. God's about to do it. I feel it. He's about to do it. We better get right, be right, do right, talk right, speak right, live right, think right, love right. We better start doing everything right. I, I wrote a, a song years ago. I want to walk right, talk right, be right, do right for the Lord. I want to love. I want to walk right, talk right, be right, do right for the Lord. I want to love. And it says, I want to love like my father. I want to love like from above. Uh, I, I better stop singing. it. The realities of the word are going to become realities to you. Thank you, Father. We thank you for a transformed mind by your word. We get in your word. We read your word. We pray your word. There's a new patience entering your life. God told me to declare that. As God hinders your hindrance, there is a, uh, well, let me see here. Thank you for your text. I loved it. Tammy Markham. Praise God. Oh, Christy, how are you doing? Amen. I tell you, I love it when everybody gets on. How many of you would like to see me do more live? I know I've done a ton of re-airs and things. I'm really trying to get focused. And, it, and not only do I want to share some things teaching from the Word, there's some things in business that I, I really would like to impart and teach and help people. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about that, I'm thinking about doing some private Zoom meetings, some webinars, some things to help people. I want to, I want to see people their businesses, their careers skyrocket to every way. God wants to see all of us blessed so we can bless others and help others and love others. And I tell you, a little money makes it easier, doesn't it? To love, to love people and show our love and demonstrate our love. And, you know, during... Uh, God, will, God will send people in your life to bless you when you need a blessing. And you know, I had, I had someone, many of you know, several years ago I was robbed and someone stole a Rolex and a, and a beautiful Rolex diamond ring 
and it, it was something that was given to me. I'd never pay that much for a watch, and a, and a client of mine gave that to me. I did some work for them, and they were so pleased with the work. They, they just said, the Lord told me to give you this watch, and it's sad. I lost that watch. I was robbed literally at knife point, and they took the jewelry and everything, and you know, I had... I had someone, a very dear friend and partner, and I, and I won't say their name because I know they probably wouldn't like it. I won't say their name, but you, you know what they did? They sent me a beautiful watch. I, I tell you, I got, I got to just, man, I got to share my blessing. They sent me this beautiful watch, and it's, it, it's, it looks like a Rolex. It's not a Rolex, but I appreciate it. Look what they sent me. They sent me a Movado, Movado, is it? Is that how you say it? Movado sent me a beautiful Movado two-tone watch, black face, and guess what color my Rolex was? It was two-tone with a black face, had a diamond bezel. The diamond bezel's missing. No, I'm kidding. I've loved this watch. I appreciate it so much, and they sent this to me literally right before I got real sick with COVID, literally my whole family had it. My wife had it, my son had it, my mother had it, my brother had it, my sister and brother-in-law just now recovering from it. We've had friends, we've had people that have literally have died in the past 30 days from this nasty virus. And, and a good friend and partner in the ministry sent me this beautiful watch. And it just made me realize that God's going to begin to restore things in your life that's missing. God's going to begin to restore, and God's going to bless you. God's going to speak to people. The Bible says, Luke 6, 38, Given it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Running over, watch this, shall men give into your bosom. And did you know, God knows my heart. I've poured out, I have given, I have given, I've helped businesses and been underpaid. I've helped ministries and have not been paid and Missing payment. And God will use people to, to bless you with little blessings, things that, are, that speak encouragement in your life. And when I got this watch, it made me feel like I'm going to recover. I'm going to get better. God will put people in your life like that to send you gifts, to send you blessings. And, and, and I appreciate this. I tell you, Praise God for it. I'm thankful for it. And you know who you are. I hope you're watching and you see this. But I feel this real strong. I don't know who this is for. Patience. It's, uh, it's definitely a virtue that's missing in most people's lives. And I am not one who is very patient. Martin said, it looks great. Let me try to show it again. Again, I didn't buy this. Someone sent it to me. A partner sent this to me. Look how beautiful that is. It's a Movado. And I told you, I, I lost a two-tone black vase Rolex that was robbed, stolen from me. I never bought it. I never would buy such an expensive watch like that. Someone gave it to me. And then God spoke to a partner, a friend, to send me a, a really nice watch. And wow, it gave me hope. Gave me hope. Somebody, I believe me getting on tonight is giving somebody some hope, some supernatural hope. You're, you're moving into superior thoughts. You're moving into a renewed mind. You're moving into a transformed mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Joshua chapter 1 verses 8 and 9 talks about how we meditate on his word day and night. And we shall have good success. Come on, good success in every area of our life. Why? Because our word, our life becomes the word. Oh, I feel that so strong. It's time for your life to become the word. And then the word becomes your life. And then everything you speak is the word. And when you speak the word, you speak life. Hallelujah. I wrote this down the other day. Sometimes we're not patient enough to see the glory of God manifest. And I believe that we're moving into manifestation. We're, blue, we're moving into manifestation. The Bible says this in Proverbs 16, 32. 
Barbara says it's beautiful. Thank you, Barbara. Proverbs 16, 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. Man, I, I don't have time to break all this down. A patient man, patient woman, is mightier, is even mightier than a warrior. Patience is a superior attitude that a transformed, renewed mind gives. And some of us have been extremely patient. Some of us, we're, we're moving into, and we, we're coming out of patience and we're moving into the promise. Some of us, we have mastered self-control and now the, the supernatural is being activated right now. The Bible says in Proverbs 25, 28, I hope you, it's okay, I'll share some word with you. Proverbs 25, 28, He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that's broken down without walls. So that's the problem. Some of us, our life, we have no walls, we have no foundations, we have no uh, principles. And so everything's broken down. There's no structure, there's no order, there's no walls. We need walls. God's in the walls. Did you know, did you know there's, there's the walls of the new city of Jerusalem? Did you know there's walls, and, there's walls around heaven? God's in the walls. I, I, I'm losing some people on that. We're moving into a new attitude of excellence. I feel this strong in my spirit, my heart. I look at the life of Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 3. Daniel, it, it was, he says, Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. God says he's moving into a new setting place. God says he's moving you. He's hindering the hindrances, the hinderers. He's blocking the blessers. He's stopping the mouth of the enemy. He's doing it. Hello, Mary. How are you doing? Hello, Mary. It's Saturday night. Saturday night, 8.50 p.m. coming to you live. An excellent spirit, a superior thought, a higher dimension, a renewed mind, a restored mind. It'll make you the choice of kings. It'll make you a ruler of people. It will distinguish you and make you rise above the competition that you're facing. It'll bring favor in your life in every way. And I want us to move into another benefit of this superior thoughts, this supernatural mindset, this transformed mind. We'll begin to live and operate with the mind of God. I want you to imagine for a moment. Imagine thinking and acting as God would in any situation that you face. Think about that. Think about this. You're going to act. You're going to behave exactly as God. You're moving into this realm. Only maximum results and right decisions. That's what happens when you begin to live with a transformed mind, a renewed mind. Now I want you to stop dreaming, stop imagining right now, because that is what a transformed, renewed mindset will do for you. When you transform your mind, you begin to think and act like God. Doesn't mean you are God, you're just thinking and acting like Him. It's simply because it is his thinking, it's his thoughts, it's his ways, it's his opinions that have replaced our thinking, our thoughts, our opinions, the way we think it should happen, it should go down. I hope this is helping someone. We're going to operate like God on earth. We're going to live the Zoe life, the God kind of life. His thoughts are becoming our thoughts. He's hindering our hindrance right now. We're going to say what he would have said. We're going to act like Jesus would have acted. We're going to do it. John 5 verse 19. 
Then answered Jesus and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. John 5, 9. Come on. When God moves, I move. Did you hear me? When God moves, I move. When God speaks, I speak. When God thinks, I think. When God acts, I act. When God loves, I love. When God blesses, I bless. I tell you, I feel, that, I feel an anointing tonight. No wonder Jesus said greater works than him we could do. He did what he saw the Father do, and the Father did great things. Hmm. First Corinthians 2.16, and I'm going to close and pray with you tonight. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. Thank you, Father. Glory to God, we have the mind of Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. My mind right now, I want you to see this. Your mind is fashioned in the image of God. It's a miraculous mindset. There's so, such limitless possibilities for us to explore. Supernatural superior thoughts is, are being released, God says. Superior supernatural actions. Supernatural superior behavior. Glory to God. What ordinary people struggle with, God says you will accomplish, you will succeed. Why? Because of a transformed, renewed mind. You have the mind of Christ. Did you know with this mind, and this is the most important thing I could say tonight, with this renewed mind, with the mind, It'll make and cause many people to see God in you. Did you know God wants to be seen in you? you want, we are the hands of Jesus. Healing hands, anointed hands, nail-pierced hands, delivering hands, saving hands. God, we are the hands of Jesus. We're the mouth of God. We're the mouthpiece of God. God wants us to show his mind and, and wants to make himself known even when you go through the drive through God wants to be known in the mind of God to permeate the atmosphere even when you're in the lobby at your bank talking to the employees there. When that waiter or that waitress is waiting on you, you are a representative of God. You're the mind of God sitting there to have lunch or have dinner. What kind of experience? Are you a Jesus experience? Are you a Jesus experience for people? I know this may sound elementary, but it's, it's the facts of life. We will represent him fully here on earth because you have the mind of Christ, because you have his mind. Did you know the, the Apostle Paul, when you begin to look at his life, He literally became a god to some people because of the dimension that he operated in. He, think about this, he raised the dead, he healed the sick, he spoke with authority. He was like a god on earth. The same realm of operation is available to us today. Acts 14, 11. And when people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices saying in speech, in this speech, the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. Isn't that something? Acts 14, 12. And they called Barnabas, Jupiter, and Paul. And uh, because he was the chief speaker. When you read this in Acts 14, I wish I had all the scripture in front of me here. They had a transformed mind. They had a transformed mindset. And God wants you to become a partaker of his divine nature. That's why it's so important to get Jesus in your heart and life and accept him as your Lord and Savior 
and learn to love and get in his word and, and get the mind of God, get the heart of God every day. I want to pray that you'll discern the will of God. Did you know life's greatest treasure is to know the will of God, but life's greatest pleasure is to do the will of God. I'm going to say that again. Life's greatest treasure is to know the assignment of God, to know the will of God for your life. But life's greatest pleasure is to do it. It's to be it. It's to live it. And I really feel this really strong. As God hinders all of the hindrance in your life, as God blocks the blockers and the barriers and the, the blessers, there's people trying to bless you, but people are blocking it. They're blocking it with lies. They're blocking it with backbiting. They're blocking it. I want you to see this. Romans 12, 2 says, Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that, what, that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. God says, in this transformed mind, in this renewed mind, as you embrace God becoming, He's hindering your hindrance. He's stopping the barriers, the blessing blockers. He's stopping it. He's stopping the mouth of the enemy. You're going to take back everything that you have allowed to be hijacked and taken. You're going to take authority. You're going to take seat. As this transformed mind, you're going to know exactly what God wants you to do, where He wants you to be, what He wants you to have, what He wants you to say. You're going to know your life's mission on this earth. You're going to know your assignment. You're going to know what you need to do on a daily basis. And some of us are out of place. And God says, I'm putting you in your power slot. God says, I'm placing you in position. A transformed mind, a renewed mind, a superior thought, supernatural mindset. No more chaos, no more confusion, no more emptiness. Your chaos is turned into new covenant. Your confusion is turned into clarity. Your emptiness has changed into a supernatural supply in your environment. Father, we thank you right now. I pray for my friends and my family right now for a transformed mind. A transformed mind. We will know the will of God. We will know the assignment of God. We will know divine steps. We will know the divine orders. We will know the divine action steps that we must take. We thank you for the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Father, we don't want a good life. We, we don't want just an acceptable life. We want a perfect life for you. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you for new vision. According to Proverbs 29, 18, where there's no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. You're, some of us are going to move into a new level and height of happiness as we do the law of God, as we do what God says, as we bless those that curse us, as we turn the other cheek. I know it's not easy, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Father, I thank you for our new identity. We're transformed right now. We, we declare 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if therefore if any man cry, be in Christ, any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, a new creation. Old things have been passed away. And all things have become new. Our mind is transformed. Now we get to live the life that God intended. Father, we think that we're going to live this life with intention. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Oh, I thank you. I, I hope you prayed some of these prayers with me tonight. I hope you have entered into covenant and believing. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I, I love it, man. I love it, Martin. I love it when you do those emoji cons with the fire. I love that. Amen. But I want to just tell you, I went over my time. But I just want to ask you, if I started to go live more, maybe once, twice a day, would you try to watch or would you watch the re-air? Do you find any, any spiritual value in what I'm sharing? I, I really need to. I need to know. I want to know if, if this helps you in any way, if it encourages you. And that's what I want to be. I want to be here to encourage you to, 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 to lift your spirit. And I hope that, that it's, that it's a, a blessing to you. I, I love the Lord. I love speaking and, and helping. I'd love to hear from you. You can, you can email me at praynowpastortimwalker.com. Uh, you can email your prayer request right there. And we're going to leave that up for a minute.
you can email me pray now at pastor tim walker.com and let me see i was trying to find something You can sow. If you've received something, I want to ask you to consider sowing. So I'm not here to beat you up for an offering or shake you upside down and work you over. I don't believe in that. I'm not, I'm not here man to manipulate or in any way. And I'm not saying people do, but I'm saying I, I'm just saying if you've received something, sow something. Carolyn said your messages are very helpful to me. Thank you, Carolyn. That means the world. Barbara says, oh, I, I got to put this up. I hope it's okay. I love this. Carolyn says, your messages are very helpful, helpful to me. Barbara says, yes, you've always encouraged me. I need to hear that. I, I tell you, even if it's just one or two of you, that means the world to me to know that it makes a difference. And, uh, but I do want to encourage you to, to write me. Wow, I need to put that up, Martin. That's powerful, brother. Let me put that up. I love that. Live is great. The rear is, is good for deeper answers. Thank you, Martin. I love feedback from y'all. I love it. And I'm telling you, any of you, if you have a business or anything, uh... Wow, Christy says, let me see here. You're such a blessing every time God opens doors through you. Thank you, Christy. Wow, I, I tell you, sometimes we just need to know that our life counts, right? That we're making a difference. And I'm just here to make a difference and encourage you. But I would love to hear from you. You can email me uh, to pray now at pastortimwalker.com or you can call or text the 800 number, 1-800-887-1655. And also the mailing address is there, the P.O. Box, if you'd like to write me. I would love to have your picture. I know I can see it on the internet or whatever, but if you'd send me maybe your goals or your prayer request, what you're believing God for, I'd love to be in agreement and stand in agreement with you. You can write me there at the P.O. Box 13220. But I just want to ask you something again. This ain't, this ain't going to be real long. If you've received anything, I ask for you to consider sowing something. And you can do that. You see the ways to sow. PayPal, also Cash App. Again, I'm not here to shake you upside down. I'm not to shake every penny, every cent out of you. I'm just saying if you've received something, sow something. If you go out to eat, you, uh, you pay for the tab, right? Or you give a tip or whatever. I'm just asking you to, to consider sowing a seed to help me. There's some things we want to do, some other equipment we want to buy, some other cameras, some lighting, some things that we want to do. And uh, there's some things that I'm putting together for those that tithe uh, into the ministry, into Church of the Harvest Ministries. Uh, some business things I'm putting together to help entrepreneurs, to help people that are absolutely going to be free resources. It's just a, an ex, it's a blessing in your life for partnering and walking uh, with us. It's going to be a blessing. Uh, how would you like to know how to start your own podcast? How would you like to know how to publish your own book? How would you like to uh, know how to master social media? And so many different things that can help you with your business. And, uh, and I'll give you this as an example. Did you know most businesses are not set up properly with Google? And I'll give you an example. The other day, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants, uh, it's become one of my new favorite ones. If you take your phone and you say, you know, uh, hey Siri or hey Google, uh, find, find Mexican restaurants. It pulled up like seven restaurants. And did you know my favorite restaurant that I was sitting in front of, it couldn't find it in proximity because it wasn't registered properly with Google. There are so many businesses that are not registered properly and that's why people aren't finding you. It's things like that that I wanna teach and impart and help you. I don't care if you're, if you're a plumber, a painter, uh, a masseuse, a dentist. There's so many things that we, we gotta get right and we wanna get the word out and make impact and, and we wanna be blessed in business and there's nothing wrong with that. But God's really blessed me with, with an entrepreneur's 
spirit and heart to help people see things multiply in their finances and what they do and more business, more clients uh, with ministries, more church members, more partners. And uh, we, together we can do more. Together we can achieve more. And I just want to ask you tonight, if you can, if you've received anything at all, I want to ask you to consider sowing something. And again, you can see the ways to do it, cash out, PayPal, call or text, or you can write us at the P.O. Box 13220. I'm going to shut up. I've uh, gone right at almost an hour. But wow, everybody's staying with me. I hate to go. Does anybody have any questions or anything? Do you have any questions at all about anything? Uh, just open it up for a minute. Anybody? I'm going to open it up just for a few minutes. Does anybody have any questions about business or marketing or anything? Uh, just type it there if you can. Type it, and I'll try to answer it. If I can't answer it, I'll find the answer, and I'll get it, and I'll get back with you. But, uh, my, wow, y'all's words just really minister to me, and I'm so thankful. You're moving into a superior supernatural mindset. It's happening. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So is he. You are, you are your own reality producer in life. You are. You are living the reality of what you think, what you believe, what you're speaking, what you're confessing, and uh, what, what is the, the reality of your heart. That's what you're manifesting. So we need to walk with the Lord. I want to bless you. Father, thank you for my friends, my family, the champions of the harvest. Thank you for those that are members of Church of the Harvest. Thank you for those that are tithers and givers and supporters of this ministry. And Father, bless them in Jesus' name. Bless them in Jesus' name, Father. And I just want to let you know, until next time, I may, I may go live in a few hours, but you might be asleep. But I just want to let you know that you can be, you can do, and you can have everything that God's promised and prophesied and spoken over your life. Remember, you're a champion of the harvest.